GuitarLessons.com, the number one name in guitar lessons online. Hey, welcome to GuitarLessons.com. In this lesson, we're going to be focusing on string pairs as they relate to the major scale all the way up and down the fretboard. In this particular example, we're just using our high B and E strings to, to do the pattern all the way up and down the fretboard. So if you don't know the patterns, let me teach them to you real quick, and then we can learn the exercise from there. So we're going to be in the key of C major. We're going to start on this C on the first fret of our B string. Play the third fret with your middle finger. Fifth fret with your pinky. Hop over to the E string and play the exact same thing. One, three, five. That's your first pattern. Second pattern is starting on a D, index finger, third fret, B string, fifth fret, third finger, sixth fret, pinky. Hop over to E string, third fret, index finger. 5th fret, middle finger, 7th fret, pinky, so that whole one right there is, then go to your E on your B string on the 5th fret with your index finger, 2nd finger is going to grab the 6th fret, pinky is going to grab the 8th fret, Go over to your E string, 5th fret with your index, 7th with your ring, 8th with your pinky, so that whole little bit. Then we're going to go to an F on the B string on the 6th fret with your index finger. Then the 8th fret with your middle finger. 10th fret with your pinky, hop over to the E string, grab the 7th fret with your index, 8th fret with your middle, 10th fret with your pinky, so that whole bit for that little fragment is this, then we're going to go up one more whole step to a G, starting with your index finger on the 8th fret, 10th fret with your middle, pinky under 12, same exact same thing in the next string, then go up to the 10th fret with the index finger on the B string, 12 through the ring, 13 through your pinky, hop over to the E string, do the exact same thing, 10 index, Third is going to get the 12th, pinky will get the 13th, and the last one, you're going to start on the 12th fret with your index finger on your B string, 13th with your middle, pinky is going to grab 15, and finally you're going to do the exact same thing on the E string, same frets. Same fingering too. Now, if you don't know these shapes, if these shapes are new to you, don't worry about them. You'll learn them again. You'll see them again when you take the lessons on the modes. So, the idea here is to be able to move from one shape to the next one all the way up and down the fretboard smoothly. So this is a great exercise to not only get to navigate your fretboard all the way from one point to the other, but it's also great to learn the shapes of your C major scale and your modes too. So take this and move it around. You don't have to do it on these two string pairs. You could start on your low two strings if you wanted to. Just whatever you want to do, move it around to different string pairs, change the keys, whatever you like. <laughs> 